Feeding America Network, more than 17% of Mississippi's population struggled with hunger in 2021. More than 450,000 people, including more than 130,000 children, face hunger in Mississippi every day. Joining us this morning is Elizabeth Swindle. She is the author of a children's book called Two Sandwiches. That book brings awareness to food insecurity. How are you this morning? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for joining us. Of course. So is Two Sandwiches your first book? It is. It is. It's my first book. So that sounds so exciting. So tell me, why did you want to write a book raising awareness for food insecurity? You know, like you mentioned, Mississippi is the number one state for food insecurity. And, um, you know, through my position as Miss Queen of the South, I have a really amazing platform and the ability to spread, um, you know, the awareness of a cause that is of my choosing. And so, um, you know, through my nutrition degree and through my advocacy work with food insecurity, I decided to, you know, write my book and, you know, just be able to uh, spread my message on a, on a broader platform. So, you know, and uh, congratulations on Queen of the South. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but just, you know, just hold up your book just a little bit so everyone can see. Where Very can pleasant. people um, find this book? Yes, so it's actually currently being sold on Amazon, um, so you can go pur purchase it on there. I think it's about ten dollars. Okay, so tell us what just you know, just give her a little snippet, a little summary of the book. What is it about? Yeah, so the purpose behind writing the book is, um, you know, something that we do as state ti or local local title holders is um, go in school. <laughs> Um, you know, another another way to share with kids about how to, um, you know, combat food insecurity in their communities and be able to advocate even from a young age. Okay, so just hearing that number, you know, 450,000 people That's and wild. then 130 children, like, mm -hmm. how does that make you feel? Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a huge bummer and, um, you know, Mississippi has given so much to me and so um, I feel like as you know, a local title holder and really just a Mississippi citizen. It's it's my duty to be able to give back to my community and be able to help that issue if I can at, at, at all. So, you know, you know, thanks for helping out in the community, but what do you think people need to do to tackle food insecurity? I think the biggest thing that people don't realize is, you know, we, we always think about food pantries and food banks, and obviously those are an amazing resource, and we have so many of them, but really the issue lies with, um, you know, connecting people who, you know, need the food and who are hungry to those resources. So if you're in the community and you're wanting to get involved with food insecurity, I think the best thing that you can do is just kind of be the middleman and connect people who are hungry with those hot meals by bringing them to their doorstep so that they don't have to go out and find transportation to get there. Now, besides winning Miss Queen, of the South. <laughs> you are also a, a student in the master's program at that mm -hmm. in public health. I mean, how do you even find the time? <laughs> but we talked about, you know, the places. What access to, you know, a healthy diet is like another thing that you wanted to raise awareness about. You know, why is that so important? Yeah, yeah. So I'm getting my master's in public health right now, like you mentioned, but I also have a degree in nutrition. That was my undergraduate degree. And so, wow. <laughs> um, so it, it, it really is something that I do, you know, not just with pageants, but really with, with my whole life. And, um, you know, the topic of having access to not just a diet, but a healthy diet is so important to me. And it really is, you know, just the conversation of food sovereignty and making sure that, you know, um, junk food alone isn't an appropriate um, amount of food for somebody to, to be sustained off of. So um, it really is important to, you know, like you were talking about earlier with Mississippi incorporating a new vegetable of our state, mm -hmm. um, just being able to connect those individuals to, you know, fresh produce, local farms, and, um, you know, nutritious food. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Elizabeth. You can find her book on Amazon, as she mentioned. And if you need to rewatch this interview, you can go to our website. It will be there. And if you are struggling with food insecurity right now, there is a chance for you to get some family much, so you can get your family some much needed help. Two food giveaways are happening right now. One in St. Houston, the Mississippi Food Network and St. Matthew Baptist Church will have a food giveaway this morning starting at 8.30. It will be at the church parking lot. The other is in Ecru, the Sec Ecru Second Baptist Church and the Mid-South Food Bank are partnering up Saturday, February 10th. The giveaway starts at 9 that morning at the church. They are asking that you make sure to have a few things with you, a valid ID and proof of residency. There is a limit of three households per car.